So we're going to show that the three perpendiculars to the sides of a triangle at the points isotomic to the foot of their respective altitudes are concurrent. Well, that's a bit of a mouthful. Um, isotomic point just means um, the point that's symmetric with respect to the middle of the segment. And we'll see how we can uh, construct those points. So here we go. Um, start with the triangle. And my usual first thing to do is constrain the sides of the triangle. That gives the algebra something to talk about. It means it's not just throwing in symbols arbitrarily. I, I'm in control of what, um, how the drawing is described. Now, I'm going to need my altitudes. Uh, use the short circuit, select the point and the segment and the perpendicular constraint that creates the altitude for me. And so now I want the point isotomic to these feet of these altitudes. So I want the point which is symmetric to D with respect to the middle of that line. To create that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the perpendicular bisector of that line. There's the bisector uh, constructor. If I pick the segment, it'll give me the perpendicular bisector to that segment. And then I'm going to reflect D in that line. So I pick D, I pick the reflection, the construction, then I pick the symmetry. So that's my point isotomic to D. Um, let's find the point isotomic to F. Select the segment, perpendicular bisector, select the point, reflect, and the segment. So that's H. So I'm talking about the perpendiculars, the theorem talks about the perpendiculars um, at these isotomic points. So let me construct that. Um, so there's the perpendicular, that segment G. There's the perpendicular to AB at H. And I can find the intersection of those. Now, we have one final um, isotomic point to find. That's the point isotomic to E. So we do that, create the perpendicular bisector of AC and reflect E in it. Now, it's still getting a little bit close. Um, I can uh, change my um, the value of some of these guys to make um, the drawing a bit more distinct. And now, what we want to show is that perpendicular uh, at J goes through the point I, or Equivalently, we could show that the line IJ is perpendicular to AC. And we can do that by asking the angle IJ A. And we see. That's pi by two, 90 degrees, what we were wanting. 